for another day. And I could break that into three different meals. Again, I can make pasta vizul with that. I can make spaghetti with it. I can just cook it longer. If you feel, I don't use paste. I think paste is very bitter. If I'm gonna um, make my sauce thicker, I'll make a small buttered roux, which is maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons of, uh, well, maybe two, nah, yeah, two teaspoons of butter and a little flour, and I'll stick it in there to make it a little thicker. I do not like paste, um, but that's your choice. It makes it too bitter. So if your sauce you feel is a little bitter, add a pinch of sugar. So I'm gonna, um, I don't know how long my phone's gonna record, but. So I'm gonna lower this, cause I wanna, I wanna simmer this for a long time, at least an hour. And then I'm gonna taste it. Then I'll taste it and I'll, uh, I'll know what it needs. So this is gonna be for um, meatball parmesan. I'm gonna stick that in the oven. The rest of this, I'm gonna go smaller meatball. And I'm gonna keep that with my sauce when I freeze it. This is going in the oven, and again, this is for tonight. So just keep an eye on that. And um, you don't have to turn it, flip it, mix it, or anything. Give this a good spin. Now, homemade sauce is way more than this. I'm gonna add a little pinch of sugar this. Not much. You don't want it too sweet. And while everything's slow cooking, you can start your dishes and keep up with that so you don't have like a real bad chore with it. Before I get started on my meatballs, I wanted to show you something else I was doing. You can fry it in corn oil and you can fry it in olive oil. I'm using olive oil. But you can also fry it in any oil that you want. I wouldn't say peanut oil. I think that would really give it a different taste my opinion. Since olive oil is very expensive, you could do half and half because I want a little more oil in there. So this is corn oil. So you could fry your meatballs or you could bake them. So remember I told you I was going to make ham soup and I did. This is a 15 bean soup that I'm gonna use for the other ham that I made yesterday for Easter. And it has the directions in it. You soak it overnight. Don't be afraid to add water. You wanna keep it wet. And it's called an Italian bean soup. Or you could use the 15 bean soup. This is so good. The directions are in the back. I mean, how can you go wrong? What a meal. If you do not add noodles to it, you can freeze it make two meals and label it and make sure all the air is out of the Ziploc bag. I use the sealed meal too. So this package comes with a little pack of ham stock. So you want to whisk that in. You'll make this tomorrow when all the beans are nice and full. You have to soak them again overnight. So I'm going to make my little meatballs. I'm waiting until that oil gets hot. 
hot enough. So you're gonna use half of the meatball that you used before. If you wanna make them the same size, just use a uh, ice cream scooper. I run my fingers through water and I'll throw a drop of water in there. If it didn't fry up, then I know it's not ready. Don't do a whole gallon of it, just a drop of water. That's all you need, one drop of water. And that's how I know if my grease is hot enough. So I'm gonna take these fried meatballs and they're gonna go sit in my sauce for my future spaghetti or my future, no, I don't know, whatever I wanna use it for. So I could take a scoop of that and put it in Ziploc bags and freeze them. And I can write on there pasta vizool, for pasta vizool, or I wanna use some of that sauce for a Italian wedding soup or a vegetable stock soup. Um, you could use it for anything, seriously. It's just tomatoes and herbs. When I cook it out of the garden in the summertime, the chunky marinara from, from the bell peppers, from the vegetables, Oh my goodness, and we put that, uh, my son and I put it on. He helps me do that, so we'll do that in the summer when our vegetables grow up, but it's still early yet. I added a little piece of meat to see if it's ready. So anyway, um, we make that sauce, the chunky sauce for the fried pizza or for the grilled pizza. I don't know if anybody's ever tried grilled pizza, but it's really delicious. You gotta be careful it doesn't fall in, but it's uh, when you make it, you only put it on each side for like six minutes and uh, take it off with some tongs and uh, put, your, put your sauce or whatever you wanna put on it and uh, your fresh basil and your fresh mozzarella. Oh my goodness, fresh spinach. Um, and have a nice little pizza. It's popping, so it's getting ready. You can hear it. Please do not burn yourself. And if you feel like it's cooking too fast and it's burning, it's really simple. Take it off the heat for a second and low, lower your flame. I'm going to start placing these down. Do not touch that oil. It is hot. Any used oil that I have left over, I put in a container and I, I bring it to um, the, the uh, dump that we have. They have an oil um, tank that you can put your used oil in, which is nice. So I have some big, bigger than others. It's okay. It's a meeple. It will be eaten. You want to use a big spoon to turn these? <coughs> How are we doing over there? There you go. So you can see that's starting to foam a little bit. Never cook and leave your kitchen. That's, that's, don't do that. So you're gonna slow cook that. This is a little more soupier, but as it cooks for a while, it's gonna get thicker. This you wanna keep thick, remember I told you, cause you wanna use it on top of your pizza and you don't need a lot on your pizza either delicious so the fresh herbs are really a bonus for you um, and for your family even if you you can't grow them because you live in you know a place where you have no windows or 
I wouldn't say windows, but not good lighting or no, no backyard. Um, you can buy your herbs fresh and you can um, do the same thing, you know. You can go to the store and buy a nice plant and just pick it off of there or you can um, buy fresh herbs and look at the dates. Don't be afraid to look at the dates. When, the, when they picked them, when they processed them to be shipped. My meatballs are doing good. So the big meatballs are gonna take a little longer. Give that a little turn. So these meatballs are tiny. They will be for spaghetti and meatballs. So they're gonna get frozen, cooled down and frozen into my next meal. Feels expensive. It's like here it's $8.99 a pound. You don't have to use veal. You could use um, chopped meat, which is um, used for anything. My God, I have like 